Hi, everybody. My name is Gabby Jones. I am a consultant at Encryption Consulting. And Encryption Consulting covers all the aspects of security concerns, such as data security, key management, and privacy. Today, we are going to be discussing an interesting concept in data encryption technology, root certificates versus intermediate certificates. First, we will dwell into the understanding of the concept of what they are and what the major different factors are between those two types of certificates. So let's start with our introduction. SSL slash TLS certificates provide authenticity of the service provider websites over internet to end users. It helps your browser know to trust an installed certificate of the website the user is visiting. In this video, we're going to discuss in detail the difference between root certificates and intermediate certificates. Both root certificates and intermediate certificates are part of the chain of trust process created to ensure security for the end user accessing various websites and data. Root certificate is one of the important type of X.509 digital certificates issued by the Certificate Authority, or CA. Intermediate certificate is an SSL slash TLS certificate issued by root certificates in line of chain of trust. Intermediate certificates have a higher validity period compared to end user SSL slash TLS certificates, though it has a shorter validity period compared to the root certificate. Now let's understand at a higher level about root certificates. They are high priority self-signed digital certificates issued by certificate authority and are trusted highly by the end user browsers. Root certificates private key is used to sign other certificates. Root certificate is a digital certificate issued by a trusted CA. Root certificate stands at the center of the trust model for securing the public key infrastructure or PKI. Certificate authority issues a special X.509 digital certificate as root certificates. Also, CAs can contain multiple root certificates leveraged for different attributes. In general, all the devices have the root certificates repository downloaded and stored in their root store, either built in to their OS or a third party store via browsers. What is the importance and necessity of using root certificates? Well, root certificates help in creating trust on any website for the user by signing the digital certificates using the private key and hence creating the chain of trust. Multiple software applications, especially browsers, establish trust through verifying root certificates. This will enhance the reliability of the service provider. All root certificates are generated by CAs, which undergo strict and rigorous audits and scrutiny for creating the trust among users. All right, so now we understand the basic concept for root certificates. Let's go and look at the basics of the intermediate certificates. All right, so intermediate certificates act as a bridge between root certificates and end entity SSL slash TLS certificates for creating chain of trust. Intermediate certificates are signed by the root certificates for authenticity. Creating many root certificates is very hard to manage and maintain. Hence, intermediate digital certificates are created for ensuring trust. Root certificate signs intermediate certificates using its private key, which creates trust. Intermediate certificates private key is used to sign end entity certificates. Intermediate certificates act as a chain of trust between the end entity certificate and root certificate by creating additional security layers. What is the importance of using intermediate certificates? An intermediate certificate creates trust for the end user by providing private key signatures to end entity certificates. Intermediate certificate authority 
creates an additional layer of protection on validating the third party websites and applications. Also, they achieve higher security by eliminating the extensive use of root certificates. Even though intermediate certificates are not mandatory, it is highly recommended to use these certificates to provide legitimacy to web applications. All right, I hope that you got clarity on what root certificates and intermediate certificates are. Uh, so now we're gonna jump to the important aspect, the comparison and the differences, and we're gonna understand each of those. Root certificates are the first and primary certificates created by the Root Certificate Authority, whereas intermediate certificates are instead created by root certificates using its private key. Web browsers and other applications store roots of the root certificate in their trust store. This is highly critical as these apps and browsers go back to these trust stores for validating the certificate authenticity. However, this is not the case for intermediate certificates. Intermediate certificate roots are not stored in browsers trust stores, but are chained back to a trusted third party root. Root certificates do not issue or sign end entity or server certificates, but intermediate certificates issue and sign end entity and server certificates. Validity of root certificates is very high compared to other types of certificates. In many cases, it might be as long as 20 years. Compared to root certificates, intermediate certificates have a very low lifespan. Usually, these certificates have a life of about one year. All right, I think that that is gonna conclude our discussion on root certificates and intermediate certificates. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are interested in learning more about digital certificates in detail, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and feel free to contact us at encryptionconsulting.com if you have any confusion, or if you just want more details about digital certificates or digital information in general, we'll also be happy to answer any questions about our company. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have a great day.